evening, the skyrocketing cost of health care premiums is suddenly center stage in campaign 2016. Some state lawmakers are calling for a special session to fix what they say are catastrophic premium hikes. Now political experts say the rate hike crisis could be a deciding factor in the election. Pat Kessler's here right now. Boy, Pat, this has certainly gained momentum quickly. Yeah, I think it was. People didn't really expect this to come, but 95% of Minnesotans, the vast majority of us, are not affected by these sky-high rate hikes, but about 250,000 Minnesotans are facing sticker shock. Monthly premiums up to 67% hikes, and candidates are getting an earful. Republicans are blaming Democrats for the sky-high rate hikes, and it might be sticking. It's clear to me that uh, we're hearing from too many Minnesotans where this is just too big a burden on them. They're getting hammered by people over this because they created it. The shift coming after a politically damaging comment from Democratic Governor Mark Dayton. The Affordable Care Act is no longer affordable. Mark Dayton hit a hole in one for the other team. Political analyst Larry Jacobs says Republicans are moving quickly to capitalize, making distrust of Obamacare the central message of the campaign. For a long time, Republicans have been saying that health reform doesn't work. Mark Dayton just provided the best evidence that they could have hoped for. Outside groups and Republicans are spending millions of dollars on mail flyers and radio ads. And for Congress, television commercials like these. Message. Health insurance premiums jumping 50%. The reality is the Affordable Care Act is no longer affordable. A terrible idea. But Democrats say the message is flawed. The number of uninsured is at record lows. You can't be denied coverage for pre-existing conditions. Dependents are covered to age 26. And Governor Dayton says Republicans will take that away. They, they want Minnesota to fail. They want the Affordable Care Act to fail. They Minnesota's not the only state where premiums will go up sharply. The Obama administration announced today that premiums nationwide will increase an average of 25 percent, and the number of insurers will drop. Now, that, of course, is putting a lot of pressure on consumers, and for the next two weeks, we're going to hear about this day after day after day. When, yeah, it's an issue. And right? it's important, yeah. Right. Uh, so when you get these rate hikes, I mean, uh, the, there is something some people can do to help. Yeah, there is. Absolutely there is. Minsure is strongly urging consumers who face these kinds of rate hikes to check in with Minsure. The higher the rates, the bigger the tax subsidy you might be able to get that can immediately and dramatically reduce the amount you pay every month. And for the others who are, don't qualify for those accounts, for those tax subsidies, they're talking about a special session that would have to come up with hundreds of millions of dollars to help these people. And to get that tax money that we're all putting into the right. pot? you, you, you got to go through Minsure to get that. Okay. But and, and, will it help middle income folks? Yes, it will. You have up to $97,000 income, and that will help your health care uh, rates every month. But a lot of people, more than 100,000 people, earn more than that, and they're out of luck right now. Wow. All right. Pat, thank you. You bet.